All right, what's good, everyone? Yohan back here to bring you some more Fire Emblem Heroes. We're gonna be doing uh, the new Celeph Legendary Hero banner, or not banner, uh, battle on Abyssal. So real quick, I'll show you my team here. We got my Summer Mia, who is currently plus four, but technically plus five because I have an extra copy being used for resonant battles. So that's nice, we're halfway there. Uh, she is using her default weapon and Luna as her special. All right. And we have my Mia with her same PvE setup as always. Wrath, Noontime, uh, Resolute Blade combos. And my Halloween Mia with Attack Speed Push Attack Speed Push 4 now instead of Attack Speed Solo. Uh, default weapon and everything else is self-explanatory. She's going to be there to heal mostly. And Legendary Zora doing her typical stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so... I actually went in with this team just to like test the Abyssal battle. Uh, I didn't intend to win, but... I ended up winning, so it's kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, this turned out to be a lot easier than expected. But we're going to start off with um, buffing up Mia with Legendary Zuri here. And getting the attack speed bond buff there. And face tanking the first few people here. Oops, let me uh, turn on animations actually. After this. Okay. On animation, so here we are going to go ahead and actually first take out this guy, and you'll see why we do this in a second. So, this uh healer right here actually like destroys Mia uh, unless she's at full health, so we want to first heal uh, the summer Mia. So that we have room for Mia to retreat here, regular Mia to retreat here, dance her up, and then we can heal while also getting the attack speed bond buff here. Which is really important because this guy right here has wind boost, I believe, and repel, so like, he's really <laughs> annoying if you, uh, if I don't have uh, the full speed bonuses going. Yeah, that cleric is pretty tough. But we lived, we lived. Yep, alright, and now with the speed buffs, we're able to double and get our uh, Wrath Noontime off. Super nice. Alright, so now... Alright, I actually don't have... I kind of improv it and I didn't memorize my attack order, so it's going to be a little uh, messy here, but... I'm pretty sure we want to heal up Mia here, Summer Misha here, and then let's see. Probably take out this guy. Yeah, we'll take out the Brave Archer. Alright. And then, let's see. Let's see if I remember what I do here. I think I might just hang back, because if I attack... Let's see, this guy does 58. And... Okay, now actually, I'll go ahead and do this. So now she has enough bulk to live the 58 attack cavalier there. Uh, maybe not after that attack though. <laughs> Hold on, 58, we're at uh, 26 plus. Oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. And as for here, we're going to step back a second. We should be able to handle the blue mage fine. Yeah, we just barely win. Lunge happens, but it's fine. And here you get a very healthy noontime wrath to the face. Wrath resolute to the face. Okay. This map is like not bad at all because they just keep coming from both these ends at you, uh, at you, and, like, and you have a lot of space to move around here, so it's like really not. The hardest map in the world. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take out this guy though. Because we don't want to deal with that fire sweep on enemy phase. Okay, and then we will take out this guy with Summer Mia. Summer Mia is so strong, it's crazy. Alright. And then, let's see here, I think we might heal and draw back. I think that's what the plan is. Yeah, we get attacked here, but it's fine. 
All right, and Salop starts moving. Nope, no biggie. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and take out the healer, I believe. And get healed up to full health. I think Salop does like 30 something damage to Mia with these buffs, so we're gonna just draw back here and chill out for a sec. Uh, um, yeah, I don't think we need to dance. Maybe. We should be fine. Yeah, this is fine, because we're gonna retaliate with the Moonbow. Alright, noontime boosted. And, yeah, this guy doesn't quite hit. So, we're gonna get back to over half health, probably. Oh, like, almost half health. Yeah, just about. Okay, and the rest is just cleaning up at this point. So we're going to... let's see. Yeah, we have to use some of Mia here. Some is the best! Unless you're in Japan when it's freaking disgustingly hot. Anyway, we heal up Mia and... actually, let's go ahead and do this. Right. Summer's the best! Alright, and just for uh, styling, we're just gonna do this, even though it doesn't even buff OG Mia, which is really silly. Alright, anyway, yeah, let's just finish off this healer. And end turn. Yeah, these are like these enemies were not very hard to deal with at all. Oh, he lived. All right, then we'll get the finish with Samuya. Boom! All right. Well, there you have it, guys. So, yeah, this was definitely probably the easiest mythic ba mythic slash legendary battle in like quite a while. Um, not too many of them didn't been too difficult, but. Yeah, this one definitely takes the cake in like top three easiest ones probably. Anyway, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time, guys. Uh, let me know what your strats were if you already finished this by now. And um, see you next time, which should be probably another Fire Emblem 7 upload. But yeah, all right, peace out.